Okay, going into third, technically fourth, whichever, doesn't matter. I missed recording one of them. <laughs> anyway, so we've got the Harrowing Vilas, and these guys really aren't that bad. If you're in the range, if you're in range of a, a mid-sized tower, yeah, hop into it. Leave the drones in. You're not going to take any damage. All of their drones will die. You'll take a lot less DPS. Not that it's usually a huge issue, but sometimes taking less DPS is just nice. Uh, so I'm having two guys focus the Vedmax and one guy focus the frigates. Uh, apparently, I killed a ghosting frigate first. No, maybe I did this wrong. Maybe I just really hated the ghosting this time from the last time I did it. I swear this was the one. Anyway. Regardless. So, we're killing off a couple of the frigates first. Then we're going to focus on the cruisers. Uh, Locoville needs some reps. That's why we have a watch list going as well. You know, besides me looking left and right at the other screens. Uh, however, there's the annoying thing right there about these Vedmax. They very much like to go out of your range. Uh, so I was using more of my drone damage for them, and uh, anytime they come back in range, I'd, do, I'd shoot them again. My afterburner's off, hoping that they would come back and stay in range for a while. Uh, we took out the Tangling Vila first, because that will go after your drone sometimes, uh, which will drag some of the other guys off of you, which is unfortunate. Uh, and then that's also why I went for the anchoring ones, so that we could just kind of get them out of the way, not have to worry about them. Uh, and then we focused on the Vedmax, which weren't doing a ton of damage. We grabbed the loot concurrently so that we could go to the gate, uh, because any time you can do that, especially in firestorms, and save a little bit of time is very important. Uh, the issue I ran into the Tier 6 firestorms is it is extraordinarily easy to run out of time not because, you know, the room technically itself should be difficult, uh, be, but because speed clouds really cause a lot of issues for these. Um, they Speed clouds are probably the most likely thing to kill you. And you're like, what do, what do you mean speed clouds? Like, how is a speed cloud going to kill you? Well, when you have uh, Leshix go to complete opposite ends of the, of, of the area, because of speed clouds and you have to spend most of your time flying back and forth, not necessarily in a speed cloud because it's in a different direction, it becomes extremely annoying. And also sometimes you'll just be near a speed cloud and they'll clip it and boom, they're out of range. Now you've reset your DPS and you have to start all over again. It is aggravating to say the least. Drones in, you're definitely gonna forget a few drones the first couple times you do this. Uh, compared to my Hawks, you'll find I take a couple seconds to make sure I have everything. Four and a half minutes in, uh, that is fantastic for a first room. We're not too worried about that. Going into a Charybdis room. Uh, why was this one annoying? I think that was why it was annoying. So anyway, oh right. So looking at Charybdis room, we're going to kick out drones because all there is is one short range deviant. Uh, we, if we start seeing our drones take damage, we'll bring them back in. It's not an issue. We only have one uh, Entangler and one Null Charge, so we're going to take those guys out first. Uh, and if you watch here, what will end up happening is, is that Entangler got out of range. And I'm like, ah, you know what, that's not too bad of a thing. That's fairly normal. Uh, he, he likes to, uh, he'll, he'll catch up pretty easily. If you look, my drones are starting to take some damage, and that Entangler is quite far away now. Uh, so we brought drones back in. I think we also got a little close to that uh, short-range Deviant, and we don't want to be. However, we're in range of Charybdis now. Karen's not going to do too much damage to us, and we're going to ramp up three sets of Occult on that guy. Uh, I kicked the drones back out on all of my guys just to kill that Entangler. Uh, I figured they'd take a little bit of damage from the tower, but I wasn't too worried about it. I just kind of wanted that one dead. Uh, brought the drones back in. Ramped up that damage. Targeted some of the other guys. Forgot that this was the second room and not the third room at almost exactly this point. So, Cryptus, especially for Nurgles. Cryptus is shield tank. Your Nurgles are ramping up more damage every shot they fire. She does not last long once you get past shields. It goes down like a rock. Uh, so then we switch to Mystic. We start shooting these guys. 
Uh, we get real excited that we're finishing this entire site in like eight minutes, forgetting there's another room yet. Um, and we take some shots and uh, we, I have them separated on there. Now, something I could have done and probably should have done had I not forgotten that this was not the last room uh, is I could have flown away from the gate a little bit, brought my drones back out so I can have my extra 270 DPS drone damage. Uh, again, these guys start off at about 90 damage each while they're ramping. Okay, actually that's not true because the uh, my alts have more. Give me one second, let me go find the actual number on that for you. Since I have them open and all. Uh, Alright, so... They start off at 135 for the DPS and about 90 for my main, so that is 260, 350 DPS. Uh, but that's only about 80 faster, 80 more than the drones, and the drones also apply pretty well too, so it, it's very useful to have the drones out as often as you can. Uh, I pop them out just so you can see how much shield damage they take right off the bat. They're not shield tank drones, hobgoblins are armor tank drones. They can survive a little bit in these towers, uh, but not as long as you would like. So 10 and a half minutes, I'm like, yes, that's a really, really, really quick one. Look at that, that's fantastic. Let's go into the, let's, let's get out of here. Okay, cool. Oh, there's another room. Anyway, so last room. Uh, it's in a field still oh my god, I forgot about that. Oh. So, let's try this one more time. Last room. 12 newts in a tier 5. There are 7 Aphiltes Dissipators and 5 Scylla Null Charges. This is some BS right here. So many newts. At one point in time, uh, close to all three of my characters were nuded out. Uh, this is a spot where I was very happy I could keep using drones. Uh, because uh, 12 newts? Did, did, did I mention 12 newts? Uh, the Aphialtes die quicker. So I put two guys on Aphialtes, one guy on Scylla. Uh, I could have put them all on Aphialtes. I did not. I, I liked split, splitting them up a little bit. Even for Hawks, I, I would do the same thing. Uh, that's a personal preference. You do whatever you want to. I, I just like to have it spread out, the, the love and DPS spread out amongst all my enemies here. Uh, so yeah, you're going to see me pop a few cap boosters. Not that I'm particularly concerned about armor or anything like that. Although you can see that I definitely have one of my characters being repped at the top. Uh, one of the benefits of this guy having a cap booster is I will always have a rep available. Even if they all get nuded out, at some point in time that cat booster is gonna come back up and I can get some reps back in. Uh, because we're in firestorms and we're armor, all of my guys have extra uh, armor that will keep them alive a little bit longer if they need to. Uh, now, let's say I had a reactive armor hardener instead of the faction uh, multi-spectral or whatever it's called now that I have. Uh, it's going to, if you get nuded out, that is now garbage to you. you it's, it's not activating, it uses a fair bit of cap, uh, and you're going to lose that resist where you do not with the multispectral. It doesn't require any cap, and that's a beautiful thing in itself. Uh, so we still don't have all of the newts dead because a, a large majority of this room was newts. Uh, I didn't even count how many ships there were total. However, I did count all of the stinking newts. Give me one second, I'm going to take a quick look now, I'm curious myself. Okay, so we've got seven dissipators, one entangler, one illuminator, three lancers and spear fishers. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so, six that were not newts, and twelve that were newts. So, 19 ships. About 70% of the room was newting ships. Uh, that was freaky as hell. So. I did get them killed, the, the nuding ships, not my ships, uh, and the rest of the room went fine, and it, it took longer than ten and a half minutes, but uh, not exceptionally long. Uh, this ended up being fifteen and a half, I believe it was, uh, and of course the, the loot was decent, the loot's always decent. Uh, firestorms, I find, so 
you have a little bit of a benefit where most of the other ones, the, the biggest thing that you're going to come across is the large uh, disintegrator spec book. Uh, you can also get the large plate mutaplasmid. The unstable one is worth a good chunk of change uh, and is comparable. So you've got a couple jackpot things you can potentially get and have yourself a wonderful day.